Good morning, folks. We have a largely space weather focused show today. We'll be checking out the last 24 hours on our star, peek in on an interesting earthquake swarm, see some progression of the current sunspot cycle, and its impact on the upper layers of Earth. Let's start with our star, and we find the last 24 hours still resembling a warrior in a garden. Lots of sunspots and plasma filaments, but no eruptive activity set to be geo-effective. Solar wind from the coronal holes has not arrived and is slower than expected. Should be seeing that today. The large plasma filament just behind the coronal holes is now departing the Earth-facing heliographic longitudes as well, which is good because that was a big one. While the flaring levels have remained fairly low, we do have moderate size, high complexity region incoming on the south, new sunspots coming in behind it. They do present eruption risk here over the coming days, so we'll keep an eye on those as well. Folks, there's an earthquake swarm in the Gulf of Aden between Africa and the Middle East. It has peaked already at magnitude 5.9, and hopefully that's all we'll get. Hopefully it settles down today. Solid article with animations from NOAA showing the highlights of the solar cycle so far, including a time lapse of the entire four years of the cycle so far as we came out of sunspot minimum and entered sunspot maximum. You can see here how we went from basically no sunspots to having plenty of active regions peppered across our star fairly regularly now. We are expected to peak over the next one to three years, but are certainly in the upper ranges of the cycle already. Since we are tracking the sunspot cycle, let's go ahead and see the sunspot count progression. Two things to note. First, we are about as high in sunspots as we got last cycle, with the likelihood of going a bit higher. And for the second part, let's also add in the recent story from Dr. Phillips that the thermosphere is at an almost 20 year high in temperatures. Have to go back to the great Halloween storms of 2003 to see this high of excitement. Now when we show the full data on the thermosphere temperatures, it is critical to notice that we are already higher in temperature than we got last cycle, and again, we're expecting to go higher. But what's interesting is that this cycle has actually had fewer large flares and CMEs. So why are we surging higher already? Given that the last two sunspot minimums were the lowest in a century, why didn't we see the marks drop much lower than in previous cycles? The best answer is that our continuing magnetic pole shift and weakening overall magnetic field strength is allowing more and more impact from lesser and lesser space weather events. We've seen this in about nine different data analysis vectors already this cycle, and here's another one. Exact same sunspot number as last cycle, fewer impacts, fewer flares, and yet already at higher temperatures and heading higher because the planet is losing its protection. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about this with our e-magazine, our books, and our special videos linked below in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.